Hello, welcome to the Postal Pleasures Channel. Uh, German stamp fans, today is your lucky day. We're going to finally dig in to this fat package of stamps uh, from uh, my Goodwill lot. This came out of um, the master bag uh, called Bag One from the four bags of stamps I got at Goodwill. And uh, I've done, I think, five videos so, sm so far of the smaller um, lots within because they were easier to do. This is going to take probably five or more videos all on its own. I wouldn't be surprised if this was more like eight videos. I think there's easily a thousand stamps in this bag. I am pretty excited to dig into it as I hope you are. So um, I'm gonna reach in and I think instead of taking them out of the bag, I'm gonna start by just taking a pinch or so with my tongs and we'll work from there. Appears to mostly be German Empire. Uh, which would be, um, we'll say, uh, from um, the beginning of German Empire uh, all through, which would be in the 1800s, all through uh, 45, I guess, the end of the war. But um, I saw a few other things in here as well. That is probably a generous pinch, but I want to grab some of these late 40s ones as well. I'll just cherry pick a few more things out of here. I'm losing a few clean up the batch say so that's probably a good start yeah let's go with that so still obviously quite a few in here if this isn't enough I'll pull out more but uh, we'll fill up the desk and then uh, call it quits for this lot and uh, and go to a part two so first off, we're here with a Dienstmark or uh, official use stamp, a 20 mark. Uh, it's mint, as, as many are. This one hinged, previously hinged, on a colored paper. Uh, let's see, that is in bounds, I believe. And here we have oh, a wonderful double uh, Bergen cancel, 3520, uh, on a 250 mark. Wonderful. I was expecting that to be one of the um, uh, inflation, I almost call them note stamps because they look like some kind of uh, dollar note. Here it is a, the same stamp. Now I'm going to say generally the same design. There are most likely two or three um, different um, instances of this design as different catalog numbers that one has to be aware of. And yet another one of this one. Wonderful. Um, Eisen something is the postmark. And by the way, if you're if you're watching this, and I'm setting them um, as separates because I, yeah, I think the postmarks are quite interesting on these. Um, I would love to learn more about what makes for a a interesting postmark on a German stamp. Obviously, I know to watch out for fake postmarks. Here's a, a fifty general issue, and then here we have um, one of the uh, post-war issues so i believe um we've allied zone here to mark in mint uh, but continue on what i was saying i guess um i'd love to learn more about uh, what to appreciate in a postmark other than say spot on the nose or or you know false or or correct postmark um i know to look for postmarks from cities or post offices that no longer exist that certainly is something i'm aware of although not um an expert on uh, so any advice anyone has, love to hear it. So here we have a semi-postal, uh, 24 plus 36. It looks like um, it's either children working on a project or or possibly workers, I'm not sure. So that's going to be probably a late 30s, early 40s. Here we have a wonderful semi-postal as well, a 12 plus 38. A horse and rider. It almost looks like a, almost looks like a circus rider, but it, it could be a military rider, I guess. A hinged mint, previously hinged mint. Am I still on screen? Yeah, I'm on screen. Jump to this one. This is part of what appears to be a military series, a three plus two. That's a wonderful one as well. I might be able to get some more stamps out. We seem to be going through these fairly quickly. Here is a French zone Wurtenberg post-war. Um, actually, is this post-war? Maybe not. But anyway, French Zone, Wartenberg. Um, I'll set this in this corner, just, uh, as it's a little different in case we get some more of that. Here, I believe we have another Allied Zone. Uh, I 
I don't know if it's the exact same set as that, but uh, we'll go there. And this one's got some damage, but it is a Germania issue. The first issue of Germania is with the Reich Post inscription on the bottom. Very nice. Three Fenning. Here's another Dienstmark, uh, 50 Fenning. Nice one there. Here's a general government, so this is going to be uh, German occupation of Poland, I believe. Uh, what a wonderful blue there. Very uh, captivating. Set that there. This one, I uh, thought it had damage. Uh, oh, it may have some funky perforations there. Actually, not damaged perforations, though. Just um, perforations where the uh, punched uh, round has not fully left. So it, uh, it appears to be a mess, but it's, it's fine. Here we have a uh, 12 Fenning, I believe. Uh, with a swastika, I believe there's a 24 to this set as well. Uh, possibly in green, if I'm not mistaken. That's a set of two, I believe. And here we have, uh, looks like a soldier uh, getting on the bus. 12 plus 18. I'm not sure. I don't think, well, that one actually is fairly similar. I'll put it there just in case. Now they are different fonts, though. So here's an overprinted. Uh, inflation series for Dean's Mark official, and it is it appears to be used. It looks legitimate to me at first glance. And here's another um, of the same style, a five and a ten. Now, here we have a fairly early one. Very nice, Fenning, twenty Fenning, a little bit of. Uh, no, actually, what I thought was damage was actually just ink on the perforations from the postmark. Again, I've, I've mentioned this before. I work fairly far away from the stamps, so I don't always see them as well as I'd like to. There's a 5 uh, fenning from the uh, later period. There's actually going to be several later periods of this Germania one. And uh, in fact, one of the periods, there's both uh, wartime and non-wartime issue. And really, the only way to tell the difference, as far as I know, is by the quality of the uh, printing. Uh, so you just have to look at them with a magnifier and uh, see which ones look better. Okay, so here we have... and. Uh, I've forgotten who this is. I've actually have I'm, while I focus on Germany, I haven't focused on it in a few months now, and I'm forgetting uh, some of my key faces here. And so we have this one here, post torn series. I think I was staying on screen. Yeah. And here we have this one from I believe 1912. If I'm looking at the correct number there, that's a part of a set of four. Uh, wow, look at that postmark. That's wonderful. Fairly well-centered, clean, bright white stamp. Love that it's not showing, you know, dingy initials of age um, with such a striking, clear postmark. We don't have the whole thing, but we have uh, what appears to be 1884. And it seems to be an edge, a margin, an edge stamp, as there's one cut side. I really like that. That's pretty... And this one's not bad either. A 20 Fenning Germania. Let me put that there. Now here we have a French Zone. Uh, these are fairly common and inexpensive, all except for one stamp in the series, which I yet I'm yet to own. Um, I believe um, there's two stamps, or two different denominations of each stamp image, and it's uh, the green one, which I think is a one and a ten maybe, and I think the ten is quite rare put that there with the Wurttemberg. Um, but again, I haven't I haven't looked at these in a while, so my memory could be fuzzy. Let's see here. I'll just drop that one there for now. This one's pretty neat. This is a much like a post rider with post horn and a um, wonderful globe of Europe behind him. A three plus seven semi postal. Um, you know, while I've seen that before, I guess I haven't really looked at it as closely as I am now. So another Germania. I guess I'll stack these because they're going to... Although, wait, that is a different... Uh, the first one's a Reich Post and this one's a Deutsches Reich. Let's see, I'll lay these out until we run out of room and then I'll start stacking them. 
Here we have an early one, a rush post. Let's see, I'll put that there because I don't think we're going to get any more of those. And another early one. Now these are actually two different colors, so I will set these apart. <coughs> Both different blues. And here's a five. And a three. Am I still on screen? Yeah, my crooked line is still on screen. And a five of a different color. And yeah, some great postmarks here. This was a a very nice collection. These are wonderful. And again, as I mentioned, I don't know what to like other than uh, about a postcard postmark other than uh, other than what I find attractive. But I am keen to learn. This one's got a little bit of damage, but still a nice stamp. I don't know why I stuck that over the other. Maybe I'll just go here and here with a forty and another ten. We'll start stacking these, I think. When I take the pictures and lay them in, I probably won't take a picture of every stamp um, because they're very small stamps and that ends up being um, hours upon hours of work to get all the pictures cropped and then into the video. I'll probably spend at least 10 hours on a video like this. There's a 50. Quite a few Germanias here. There's a 30. Now these are in no means in any order. <clears throat> That'll be next. Once I'm off screen, I'll get them carded up, although um, I have such a backlog of German stamps to do. Uh, it takes a while, especially the Germanias, because there's so much research involved. So some of these will probably end up in an envelope until I feel like going down that rabbit hole for a week or two. Here is a seven and a half. I think that one's fairly easy to attribute. Uh, here's another wonderful official dates mark. Uh, we can see the uh, lozenge watermark, at least I can. Hopefully you can on screen as well. Nice clean mint one. Here's another official, this time used. Uh, a three mark, I believe. Pretty nice. I like finding those used. <clears throat> another uh, official, a 60 fenning. Wonderful. What a variety here. I mean, really, I mean, and we barely touched that bag so far. Here's another post horn. Uh, looks to be the same as that one, although the color is a little different. Uh, but that could just be an environmental issue. I'll keep it separate for now, though. There's a 30 post horn. And a 5. And a mint 5. Some more Germania. I'll leave a little space. Do some little lower ones here. That was a 15. I mean, we have very little duplication so far. Um, that may be a duplicate, but then again, they may be different ones. Uh, even within a particular number with these older German stamps, a lot of times there's color variations. Um, although you may need to be an expert to do well sorting those out. Here's another uh, official. And I think this is the last one I can squeeze in here. Yeah, that's on, I think, mostly. Here, I can move these up just a hair. Now it's on. And I'm going to do the same thing here. A lot going on on this one. Uh, but it appears to all be postmark and no overprinting. Uh, 13th of September, 21. And it's also a Dean's mark. Again, I'll leave a little space in case we get something else there. But, uh, and another Dean Spark, this time a 50. Uh, we part of the same series as that one there. I'll put it there. Here's a 40. Also a official. And here's a Perfin. Let's see. Um, I'm going to turn it over to get a better view. It's a 2 mark. Germania series. Oh, unfortunately, there's paper and hinges on the back. So I guess I'll have to work from the front again. I'm going to hold it up to the light really quick. Uh, oh, it's actually an upside down perfin. It's so turning it down. We have a DM. I'm not sure if that's visible at all. Tilted around, maybe not, but I'll try to get it better when I photograph it. So a DM perfin. I'm going to set this over here as it's a little different. It's still on the screen. 
Uh, if you know what the DM Perfin, what company that stands for, uh, please leave a comment. I'm sure we're all interested now. Uh, here's one, uh, another Germania, this time a one and a half mark uh, from the postmark says uh, 1922. I'll go there. And a one mark. Another great postmark. Wow. A 20. Uh, we've seen a 20 uh, in green mint. This one's used and a bit dingy. I will cover it up for the sake of space. I think we have another perfin here. Yeah, this one says HF. Um, and we can see it there. Sorry, that's upside down now. Um, of course, when I turn it over, it's backwards, but H and then F, if that's more visible. So I'll put that with the other perfin. There's a 15 from September 19... Uh, 1920. I was going to say 1930 is too late. <clears throat> uh, let's see, the 15 I will put here. Okay, we have another one of the larger format stamps here. This time a 150 with a wonderful building behind it. I can't read the fine print to tell you what building that is, but there it is. Okay, and this one is, oh, an overprinted Germania. 160 mark. Put this one here. And then another uh, post horn. I'll put that one there, as I don't think we have that particular denomination. I'll crack the bag open. Let's grab another pinch. Being that they're all small, we're able to get a lot more stamps out here than normal. Try not to spill on the floor. Okay, I think that's probably enough. Oh, here's a nice early one. Looks like from 1886. And I'm just looking... Uh, some of them end in Fenning and some end in Fenig, and I can't quite tell because of the postmark in the way on this one. But I'll put that there. There's another Reich post. Let's see, I'll make a... Move these around a little. I'll try to put them in groups as we get to them. And, yeah, 10 out of 20 of that one. Here's another Dean's Mark 40, this time mint as opposed to used. Of course, hinge on the back, but let's see. Lozenges, 300. These are the ones I like to call the bill stamp. Um, I just think it's, I think the name on these is just a numeral series, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. There might be a better name for them or a colloquial name that would be easy to remember. Hyperinflations now I'm into. Uh, these are from the uh, 20s, I, I dare say maybe 21, maybe? 21, 23, somewhere in there. So I don't have a column for these yet, uh, but a 5 million, a 20 million, there's a 10 between the two that I haven't seen yet. Here's a later series of the uh, Deans Mark official stamps. We have a lot of space, so let's put this one up here. Grab a couple of these big ones. Uh, so here we have a stamp from, um, let's see, uh, East Germany. So, um, DDR. Uh, we'll just put that over here in the bottom corner. I'm not expecting too many of these yet. Here is a, I believe this is Soviet zone um, post war. So we'll put this uh, up here as well. Something a little different. And I think here we have a, I think this is going to be 30. Yeah, 35 is the, one of the dates on here. So right about 35. I'll just put it up here. Uh, interesting eagle with a swastika and a ring below it. Obviously a little propaganda there. And is this its mate? Yes, okay, a six. So six in green. And then so this one I said there was a 24. That was probably in green. Now it's probably a six and a 12, not a 12 and a 24. Uh, again, it's been a while, so I start to forget things. Now this is one I don't think I have. I would be willing to say there's a chance I don't have this. It looks like a a rail car. Wonderful. 
uh, 25 fenning, uh, and I don't see uh, I don't see anything here that matches it. I'll put it right there. Pretty excited about that one. Uh, here we go with the 20 mark. There's two of these, and I believe it comes down to the watermark. So this is the network watermark, the watermark two, uh, as known in the um, uh, Michelle books. I've been calling him Michael all along, and I believe that's wrong. Uh, so um, if, if Michelle is wrong, um, maybe correct me as well, right? Get me saying the right thing, and I will. Uh, I'll try to correct what I say. So let's see. I'll put these up here with these. Oh, where am I going to put this? I'll just start a column here of the Worker series, I think they are. There's another one. These are uh, about the same time as these numbers here. And and really sort of in the same time as the post horns that I have here. Uh, post horn. And here we have uh, Paul von Hindenburg, the Medallion series. Finally, I remembered a name. <clears throat> and a five of this series I'll just slide it in here running low on space and I don't want to waste too much time moving things around and now we're into some inflations which I'm always excited to find used uh, because generally they're valued a little higher or, or rarer in, in used uh, some of the, some stamps, I believe, were um, the inflation was so rampant that some stamps may have only been valid for uh, days, if not hours. Uh, so quite interesting period to collect. Uh, and of course, uh, the more valuable are, the more they're forged, or the more the um, postmarks are faked. Uh, so there's books you can buy uh, to help you identify false. Stemples, if I could pronounce that correctly, false postmarks. Okay, there's a 40. I don't know why I put the Jeremy. I was just busy talking and piling everything in the same spot. And there's another Dean's mark, a 10 with a 2 million overprint. It's pretty neat. I'm going to pull these down and out of the way because they're sliding into the organized stamps. So here we have another uh, Perfin. This time it's BW. Lifting it off there, maybe you can see, or maybe you can even see the shadow. Let's see. I don't know. Pretty neat. Actually, I'm enjoying seeing the shadow. I hadn't done that before. And here we have another uh, number stamp. Almost lost this one off the page. Uh, the seven and a half, I think, was actually already out. So this is one that just got pulled out of the way. Uh, worker series. Oh, we were already talking about those. Uh, here's a four mark of the Germania series and a two stamps here uh, these are quite wonderful we have the two and the five mark quite nice uh, I don't think those are all new to me as well okay I think I'm still on scan I'm still on screen here I'm just gonna work across the bottom with the officials two more officials there what do we have here a 75 I mean very very little duplication here it seems like we just have a somebody's collection essentially in a bag. These two could be the same one, but again, it looks like used and not used possibly. We'll stack them right there, though, because we are running low on space. There's a twenty of the post horn. Wonderful. Another twenty this time used. I will stack it this time though. An eight. One, uh, put that one there. Two sixes again, uh, mint with a rough back low, and used. Am I still on screen there? Not really. I'll crowd them. And a three, and a fifty. This is part of a four-part set. Uh, this is the two mark. Put that one there. What do we have? Another one of the worker series. Right up there. And another post horn. I'll stack those two. A three. Really nice three. 
stack those two because that's the same one. Now you'll see a difference here between these two threes. That one has yellow in the Dutch's Reichmark, and this one is white in the same area. So you see the difference side by side. In fact, I'll set them side by side. And here we have a 2000. So uh, again, part of that series, but I'll put it here for space's sake. And another worker series. Looks like maybe miners in that one. What is the one above it? Looks like farmers. And looks like another miner here in a 100. And the 60, you can't quite tell what I'm seeing there. But all worker series. And then the final stamp I'm going to do in this video, because we are limited on space at this point, is another three used this time. Uh, oh, a different color, though quite different color um, with yellow in the uh, in the inside or you know what it's not a three it's a five so it's a five uh, it matches these but these have white writing this one has yellow writing so again a different stamp very few duplicates pretty amazing and again we still have plenty of stamps for more videos I think there's probably four or five more videos in here easily um, so I uh, look forward to those, and in fact, I'm going to do those. I'm going to do these one right after the other. Um, if I slip something in between, it's not going to be an unboxing. It might be a more informational video, um, but I'm going to work through these German stamps as a batch. So uh, expect one out a few days after this one. Thanks for watching.